Pamela Todd. I'm an investigative reporter with CTV's W5 and a great, great lover of literature, which is why I'm here today. It's the 10th anniversary of the Charles Taylor Prize for Literary Nonfiction, and that's very special for us. This very important literary prize honors the very, very best in Canadian nonfiction. Yesterday would have been Charles' 76th birthday. <laughs> she was a child bride, she likes me to tell you. And she was. From his deathbed, Charles wrote to, Nor to Noreen of his very deep love for her, and he said, quote, I know there is a part of you that won't forgive me for leaving, and I hate to cause you grief, but I hope the time will come when you can sit back over a glass and tell some good old stories at my expense. Noreen Taylor, come on up. Perhaps by doing an event like this, we are certainly, I'm looking at Linda McKnight, we're certainly telling a few tales amongst ourselves about good times that we certainly shared. It is never more true that I don't know how there can be a best in a world of individuals. I made that up. Because these books are so different, it's extraordinary. They are so different and they're all powerful. Nevertheless, the job of the jury is to come up with some sort of analytical framework in which to award the Charles Taylor Prize and they tell me they've done it. This is the beginning of uh, this, this day that we've been looking forward uh, to for a year. I'm going to ask David if he would please come up and tell us a little bit about the process. Today the genre of nonfiction, whether memoir or political analysis or history or investigative journalism, biography or cultural essay is widely read and as we have seen in the last few weeks of the press coverage of the Charles Taylor Prize, widely publicized. What we celebrate today thanks to the Charles Taylor Prize, is the amazing business of telling the truth. It's time to announce the finalists for the 2011 Charles Taylor Prize for Literary Nonfiction. Stevie Cameron for On the Farm, Robert William Picton and the Tragic Story of Vancouver's Missing Women, published by Alfred E. Knopf, Canada. Charles Foran, for Mordecai, The Life and Times, published by Alfred A. Knopf, Canada. Ross King, for Defiant Spirits, The Modernist Revolu Revolution of the Group of Seven, co-published by Douglas and McIntyre and the McMichael Canadian Art Collection. George Sheeposh, for The Geography of Arrival, a memoir, published by Gasparo Press. Merrily Wasbord, for The Love Queen of Malabar, Memoir of a Friendship with Kamala Das, published by McGill Queens University Press. So, oh, Ava Marie, if you would do the honors, please, and bring the envelope, and then I understand that June, the wonderful June Dickinson, is going to bring us the winner. Oh my gosh. I, I haven't slept in about five weeks, so I just thought I'd share that with you, and I have gone over. Um, every possible permutation from a life in horses, I've been handicapping the jury and coming up with everything. And, oh my goodness, the winner of the Charles Taylor Prize for Literary Nonfiction is Charles Foran for Mordecai! <laughs> I'm delighted. I'm very grateful to the Charles Taylor Prize, to Noreen, uh, a wonderful host, gracious. It's a great honor uh, to, to be 
singled out by jurors of this esteem, and I'm very grateful to you for even considering me for the shortlist. People have been too kind to state the obvious for the last four and a half years, and that is uh, I have been standing on the shoulder of a giant in writing this book. So I'd like to end this, and I hope you'll join me in, in raising a glass to the memory of Mordecai Richler, a great Canadian writer and a great Canadian. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Congratulations.